Okay, let me give you guys an example. So we've seen this property before, where where we can trap uh, where we can trap this. Uh, uh, so so this thing here is really the the true area um, underneath the, the function between a and b. We can always trap this area between the biggest thing and the smallest thing. So we can use this uh, this property here in order to evaluate this. Well, in order to get a, a rough estimate of this. So, so the aim here is to trap this between the between the biggest possible thing and uh, and the smallest possible thing here. So, so we're going to use this same technique to trap this in between two things. By trapping in in, in between two things, we can get a rough idea of what this um, what what we can we can roughly estimate um, the value of this integral here. Okay. So the aim here is to trap it between the biggest thing. And the uh, the smallest thing here, okay. So the 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 way we trap something is uh, is suppose you you have a function here. Let, let's say any function f of x here. Uh, in between, uh, let, let's just say in between zero and three here. The the trick is to to, um, to obtain the the highest value here. So uh, so so the, so the, the 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 method is always the same. If you want to uh, to work out this area here. Okay, between zero and three here, you would trap it between the the highest possible value. So so work out this area here, the highest possible value. Work out this area here, then that would be your 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 biggest possible area, and then uh, and then and then look and then work out your smallest possible value. So so in between this interval here, in between this interval here, the smallest value would be right here. So you would then work out this area here. Okay, so so this so so the true the true area here is always trapped in between the biggest and the smallest. The smallest in this case is this this uh, small rectangle here. So that's this small rectangle here. So the the, the method is always the same. So to so um so sound sorry. So to to trap this. Hang on, let let me go back up here. So so to trap this between two things. We it, it, in in this interval here. So uh, so to trap this in between two things, we would try and find the biggest possible va value that this could be, and then the smallest possible value that that this could be. Okay. So uh, so the way we would do that is um, well, hang on, let, let's 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 plot a graph of this thing here. So if if you plot a graph of this, it would look something like this. You see to to. So, so visualize this as as being a function here. In 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 between zero and one, what is the biggest possible value that this thing here could be? Well, in between zero and one, in between zero and one, that's that's in between in between zero and one here. So we are looking at this region here. The biggest possible value that that this thing could be is when well, it's right here. It's when uh, when when x. Where when x equals zero, so the biggest possible value that this thing could be is when you put zero into this thing here. Well, if you put zero in this, into this thing here, then this whole thing here would be one. So, uh, so, so, well, the, so, so the the biggest height here would be one, and then, and then you because you're evaluating it between zero and one, between zero and one here, then well, the the biggest thing that that this thing could be is one. So, uh, so this here is one, but because we are evaluating it between zero and one, we have to times it from here to here. So that would be one times the the width, because uh, this here is a width. Okay. So uh, one times one, this will then give you one. And then, and then the what, what what is the smallest possible value that this thing here could be? So visualize this as a function. What is the smallest value that this thing here could be? In in this region here, so in in the, in this region here, in this region here, the smallest value that this thing could be is right here when when x uh, when x equals one. So so when you put one into here, that would be the the smallest value that that this whole thing here could be, okay? Which which happens to be a half. So this bit here is a half. So it's you really putting uh, the one into here. So the the lowest value that this whole thing here could be is a half, uh, and then because you are evaluating in, in this interval here, which is one, so so this here is one. So uh, so the smallest area here would be 
uh, what a half times one that would be this so here we've tracked we tracked uh, we tracked this area here and this and this area here is between between one and uh, and a half okay you you can make an in, uh, you can make an improvement on on this uh, on this estimate by by splitting it into two areas so you've got one area here and then another and then well, another one over here okay so 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 this here is, is okay but we can improve this by by splitting it up, by splitting up the area into two different parts so now we are going to split it up into two different parts so the first part would be from zero to a half okay and then and then the other one would be would be uh, from from a half from a half to one okay so uh, so so the the biggest uh, the biggest so so now we, we this bit here is really us looking at this bit here okay and then and then down here this bit here would be us looking at this here okay so so work out the the biggest possible value that this could be uh, and then the lowest possible value that this thing here could be and then later on work out the biggest possible value that this could be and then work out the lowest possible value that this could be um this could be here and then and then uh, and then well you see what i mean you know? so the so looking at this area, looking at this area here, the biggest that this could be would be a, a half. The lowest that this could be is uh, well, if if you put a half into here, then then that would be a half squared would be a quarter, and then plus one, so that's four over four. So adding the two together here would give you five over four, and then one one over this thing here would be four over five. And then because you are evaluating from 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 zero to five, so this so 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 in this region here, the highest possible value here, uh, so the, the lowest possible value that this could be is um, is when when this here is four over five, okay, and then and then uh, and then this width here is a half, so you would get a half times four four over five, which would give you four over ten. Okay. Well, well. Think about this. In 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 this region here. Think about it. The lowest possible value that this could be is is right here. Okay. So you you have to get this height here times the width. That will then give you this. Okay. And then and then in this region here. In this region here, the uh, the highest that this could be is four over ten, and the lowest that this could be is uh, is a quarter. Okay. Well, think about it. Um. Uh, press pause and really think about this if you want to. Um, so, so I, I just just remember that when when you come to cut in half, the width here is uh, is is a half. So when when you get the height, you got to times it with a half. Okay. So so um, so so in in this region here, hang on. in this region here, it would be this, and then uh, in this region here. Uh, it will then be it will it will be this so uh, so now so from zero to one now from zero to one we want the uh, the biggest possible add it with the biggest possible that's uh, that's this plus this okay and then and then um, and then from zero to to one we want the smallest possible add it with the smallest possible that will then give you this and then blah 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 it gives you um, uh, it will then give you this okay so this here is a better estimate than uh, than uh, than our earlier one up here Hang on. then you see this here is, is a it's an uh, it's an okay estimate but if if you start to split up into two two separate parts then uh, then this would be a better estimate and then you can use this same same technique to split it up into four equal parts if you want to Okay.